So for today, we are starting with the quants. And the first class is, is going to be for your uh, speed math. So speed math, if you are thorough with your speed math, your simplification and your entire quants is going to be easier for you. And in order to become more familiar with speed math, there are certain prerequisites which you need to do it. First, the tables from 1 to 20. All are aware. If you are not aware, you should be aware from 1 to 20. What is uh, 58, sir? 120. 12 15s are 180. Okay, 12 9s are 16 9s are 108. 16 9s are 144. First, the tables from 1 to 20, if it is thorough, good enough. Then, squares 1 to 100. In order to know from 1 to 100, your squares from 1 to 25 should be known. Okay, after that, I had taught you the method for those people who, who did not attend that class, I'll teach you again. No issues. Okay. Then Q, 1 to 15. And apart from this, you should be aware of your percentages. Percentages for everything. For example, if it is half, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 11, 1 by 15, 1 by 16, all these things you should be aware. Then you should be aware of your multiplication, division and all these things. Now, there are certain methods in this multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And to find out the percentages, there are certain methods and tips and tricks or like the shortcut methods. I'll be explaining each one. Just go with the flow and note down each and every tips and trick. Post that whenever you come across any kind of numbers, start practicing with those. Okay. That is the only way we can go about with the simplification. Else simplification is not going to happen in a day. It is a process only. So let's start with this. First thing, let us start with some kind of addition itself. Okay, let us see how quick your addition is. What is 7 plus 8? 15. 9 plus 6? 7 plus 9? 16. 8 plus 6? 8 plus 8? 8 plus 9? 11 plus 23? 34. 24. Correct. 34. <laughs> okay. So 9 plus uh, 5? 6 plus 7? 5 plus 9? 14. Okay. okay. So... All are aware with the single digit addition. Okay, fine. No. No. Okay. Let us increase the difficulty one by one. 86 plus 7. What? No answers. 93. 93 plus 9. 99 plus 99. 99. Okay, fine. 48 plus 6. 54. 44 plus 9. 53. 53. 49 plus 9. 77 plus 9. 86. 167 plus 378. 548. 545. Okay. How are you solving this? See here. See. See, you can have direct addition and you can do it. It will take some time. That's all. Else, what you can do is you can split this entire number into blocks. If you want, you can split it into 100 plus 60 plus 7. So 100 plus 300 become 478. And then you can add the 60 and then you can add the 7 and take the unit. Else, what you can do is 7 plus 8, you can separately add it. This 7 and this 8, you can separately add it. This 60 plus 70, you can separately add it. And this 100 plus 300, you can separately add it. When you add 100 plus 300, it becomes 400. 60 plus 70 becomes 130. 8 plus 7 becomes 15 and 50. So this becomes 530, 545, where you can split the entire terms and you can add it. That is also one of the methods which you can follow. If Else, if you're comfortable with adding like this, 167, 378, 7 in the hand, 8 in the mind, all those things, you what you can do, okay? You will get the answer, but not in the exam, after the exam, <laughs> okay? What is 23 plus 79? 70 plus 20, 90. 90 plus 9, 99. 99 plus 3, 102, okay? 79 plus 39, only 80. 44 plus 29? 29. 59 plus 38? 79 plus 72? 151. 140, 149, 151. Okay, fine. 88 plus 89? 88 plus 89? 80 plus 80? 60. 8 plus 9? 8 plus 9? 70. 177. Right? So split the numbers. I don't think you're still splitting the numbers. If you are finding it too difficult in the mind itself, write it down and tell the answer. Let it take two seconds now. Later on, you do it in one second. 
ओके टू सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन टू सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन सेवन ओके नाउ टू सेवेंटी नाइन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन एट हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड सी इन दिस केस व्हाट यू कैन डू इज सेवेंटी नाइन एंड ट्वेंटी वन कंप्रेसेस एंड मेक्स यू अ होल टर्म हंड्रेड सो फाइंड फॉर दो and then you can start simply okay what is 36 plus 63 36 plus 63 anyway 84 plus 48 84 plus 48 79 okay. 73 plus 37 10 see there is a method for this all these are reflection numbers right all these are reflection numbers just wait 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 all these are reflection numbers so in this reflection numbers what you can do is if you are given some number like um, 84 plus 48 for example Okay, eighty-four plus forty-eight. What is eight plus four? Twelve. Multiply twelve into eleven. It becomes one, two, three, one thirty-two. So this is the answer for this question. Here it becomes seven plus three is ten. Ten into eleven is one ten. Is that the answer? Is that the answer? Why you multiply better? It is a easier method to solve it. So whenever you have reflection numbers, multiply better. Multiply, add it and multiply better. You get the answer. Ninety-six plus sixty-seven. Okay, this ninety six is close to hundred, hundred, hundred and sixty seven. Subtract four from it. One sixty three. Answer. So whenever you get a number which is close to hundred, which is close to two hundred, which is close to ten, make it near to that number and add it. Your addition will become much more simpler. So example ninety nine plus eighty nine. What? Ninety nine plus eighty nine. One eighty eight. One eighty eight. Hundred plus eighty nine. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> right? Forty five plus ninety three. Forty five. Plus ninety three. Thirty eight. Okay, do it for this. Thirty five plus forty three plus sixty five. Thirty five plus forty three plus sixty five. One forty three. These two numbers makes hundred, and this added together it becomes one forty three. Okay. One sixty seven plus one ninety six plus one thirty three. Answer. Three ninety six. Three ninety six. Sure. Four ninety six. Four ninety six. Four ninety six. Four ninety six. These two together comes up to three hundred. One sixty seven plus one thirty three comes up to three hundred. Add one ninety six to it. Okay. Okay. Fine. With addition, most of you people are okay. 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 Not not quick enough, but okay. Okay. Fine. Sixty seven plus sixty eight plus thirty five plus forty three plus sixty five plus fifty five. How to do it? First, add all the digits in the tens place. Six. Plus six plus three plus four plus six plus five. It's equal to it's equal to what? Six plus six twelve. Fifteen nineteen twenty five thirty thirty. Add all the ones place. Sorry. Three or three. All the ones places compressing to thirty three. Right? It's coming to thirty three. Yes or no? Okay. Yeah, triple three only answer is triple three. So now you can add an additional zero here and get it thirty three. Okay. So whenever you get a long long digits to multi uh, add it, you just add all the units place, add all the tens place, add all the hundreds place separately, add it all together, then find out the answer. 